independent client customer gross. Uh, this is a work order and we still have two more trips. Um, today we hung the hood, uh, went ahead and did all the uh, uh, liner and all of the, the posting behind. What you can see right here, there's a little bit of a dip in the ceiling or the, the wall at a plum. Uh, it's basically touching down here at the bottom and at the top it's out. So when we come back, we'll put a two before block behind the panel at the top. It's just hollow back there. We'll put a two before block against the ceiling in the back. Then we'll drill the end here and put a, an inch and a quarter, two inch screw in the end after we push it up against the wall. And that will give us that link, that tightness to the wall that, that we need before we put the molding on. We'll hide the hide the scribe molding. Uh, we'll hide the actual screw. Same thing over here. We'll put a uh, block and push it up. Gap the ceiling's necessary to make sure that it sits over the French cleat. It has to sit on top and down over the French cleat. Uh, so that will be uh, covered with crown molding just like you have over there. So it will match. Um, this was the damage that should be covered by scribe once we do what I'm talking about. Again, you can see right here it's touching the wall. It's way out at the top. So uh, that's where we're gonna have to put a cleat at the top when we're completely finished and getting ready to put crown molding on it. We'll put a cleat up there and it'll be hidden by the crown and the scribe. Uh, next trip, we're gonna be doing a base 12 here. They have ordered it. Um, seems like they said it's gonna be like the middle of March or something before they ship that. Uh, so a base 12, this has to be put in as a separate order um, and then a separate work order as a trip. Um, and then at the same time, this this is all of the uh, base trim that we have left. So we need to make sure we have one more piece of toe kick on order uh, for this space. We have no toe kick under here yet. So we need to make sure we have that. Uh, on the right hand side, the toe kick is already under there. Uh, but we need to put quarter round down under it to hide the shim heads. So again, that's going to be next trip that we'll do that. Um, we have the uh, appliances and stuff, some of them installed. Um, I don't see any damages or anything, but uh, just be careful with those. Uh, we put the sink in today uh, over this side you've got the pillow cut out for the front of the sink uh, on the back here we've got blocking and you see that the actual edge of the sink sits on that block like it's supposed to it says in the instructions too here we've got double legs and one leg is under that piece in the bottom the other piece is on the front to screw that piece in the back together to it. So got a layer right there of, of putting that in. Put our doors and stuff back on for that. She asked about a temporary here. This is in place. It could be hooked up to plumbing. If you want to go ahead and, and put in a disposer, hook it all up to plumbing. You could take a piece of plywood and just cut a piece of plywood to go back here to put your faucet in. But it'd be really easy to cause a lot of water problems if you uh, aren't careful. So I wouldn't recommend hooking the sink up at this point. Uh, I would maybe do the drains or something. But as far as the faucet and all that, uh, you're just going to have a real problem here if you aren't careful as far as water exposure to the face of all your cabinets uh, in here today we put it on the baseboards all the baseboards in the corners here same thing over here um, went ahead and blocked out finished out all the edges uh, and then uh, uh, put the scribe moldings on the sides here same thing over here sides and uh, when we come back I think I think we're done in this room. We'll come back. We'll, we'll talk to him. We went ahead and put the blocking in the corners here. That was what we needed the two befores and stuff for, uh, for the countertops to be measured and installed. Um, as far as that goes, what we have left on site uh, is some uh, some actual shoe molding in the brown. We have one, two, three, four. We have four risers. Okay, one there, two there. We got one, two, three, four crown. A stick of scribe molding, an outside corner, and those two little half inch pieces. Um, and we have the two refrigerator end panels, the top panel. Uh, we have all those, they're here. Um, stuff's starting to finally get out of the front room. And um, I believe I believe that's it as far as materials. We have one other we have one other um, place where the uh, the guys have got some plywood out here. Hey, make sure we bring the plywood in, okay, Hi, uh, Quincy? That leftover plywood, that leftover strip that you had to cut, bring it in. All right, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to give me a call at 423-650-1051. Have a great day.